Hi everybody and welcome to week five. We are past the midterm, which is crazy. Summer's flying by, um, but I always I say that every week. So anyway, uh, welcome to week five. Um, this week I'm not doing any sort of presentation myself. I'm not going to have any quiz. What you're going to need to do is turn your paper from last week into a presentation and I'll open it here. Um, so you wrote the paper about the studio, style, technology, etc. So then you're going to turn it into a presentation. I do need you to create some sort of visual presentation. So if you prefer to use PowerPoint, if you want to use Adobe, any of those software and create kind of like slides, if you want to use Google Slides, whatever you want, um, you do not need to show your face. If you want to, you're more than welcome to. I always love to get to know you guys even more, um, but you don't have to. Um, and then you're gonna give your presentation and record it, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to use Vidgrid, which is part of Canvas, right here, Vidgrid. It's a pretty simple presentation recording software. I use it for some of my um, posts as well. Um, if you have problems with Vidgrid, please let me know. There are some other options, but this one is the easiest and can be put into Canvas really successfully. So um, I want you to teach us about your topic. Again, so practice. Your PowerPoint should have bullet points or images. I don't want you to just like be reading paragraphs of text. Think about making it exciting. Bring in imagery. Your presentation should be between three to five minutes, um, and then you have one minute of a clip that you can show. Um, you can try to show a minute of the footage to make sure your topic is understood. I'm looking for quality over quantity, so don't just be adding minutes or subtracting to fit. Think about your quality. Okay, so the recorded presentation is gonna be due Wednesday by midnight, and then the rest of the week we'll be looking at the discussion board, okay? <coughs> Sorry, I've got tickle. Um, make sure to discuss, you know, all of these kind of questions here, and then make sure to put the discussion board topics. So you want to actually build a discussion around your presentation. So once you post your presentation, I would just recommend turn it in the gradebook and turn it in here, but again by Wednesday. Uh, make sure you just post your discussion questions for your classmates. Then you're going to watch a minimum of five presentations and um, res respond to their discussion post by Sunday. Also, check back on your own posting. I want to make sure that you're growing the discussion. So you're kind of becoming the expert in whatever your topic is. So your classmates may ask questions in their responses. Um, and you can respond. Of course, other people can respond as well, but try to lead your own discussion. All right? If there are any questions, always feel free to reach out. But you're recording your discussion, posting it by Wednesday at midnight. When you turn it in the gradebook, again, just turn it in here so you can grow the discussion boards. Okay? Have this link here. This is a great... Um, uh, video from CDAT, the Center of Instructional Design at St. Xavier, um, and they go over how to use VidGrid. I'm also going to do it in this video. I tried to do a couple different ways because I know people have used it before, people haven't. Your computer is going to change based on if you have, so I tried to do a, a few different ways. This is our History of Animation class. If you scroll down, we have VidGrid Login and VidGrid Portal. You're going to want to go to VidGrid Login. You may need to log in here. Um, it's supposed to be connected to Canvas, so I just always go here first. But then you can go down to the VidGrid portal. Okay, now if you've never done this before, uh, you're going to need to download VidGrid. I have a little tutorial that I'm going to post in just a second, but you can always go to record. You're going to open VidGrid screen or recorder, and you know you can change the resolution here. You'll see the gray box, and you can click and drag to move. So you want to make sure that this gray box is showing your presentation. Um, you can change the resolution. 
you're going to want it to be fairly high. Um, you know, if you have this kind of tiny box, your recording is going to look pretty pixelated. So I would at least kind of get your full screen, then you can make your presentation full screen as well. I'm going to make this smaller to make sure you can see it. I've got kind of inception going on. I've got a video recorder recording a video recorder. So um, you're just going to click record. Uh, you may need to activate the sound. Again, I'm going to post a little video right after this showing the first time downloading. It's from a different class um, that I recorded. So obviously you're not in senior seminar, but that is the first time that I downloaded the recorder so I can show you how to do that. Then all you'll do is hit record, make sure your presentation is up. You'll give your presentation, la 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 la, this is fine and dandy. And then it says, you know, press the check to stop the finished recording. So, and that was my presentation and you can stop. You can name it, so Fuller, History Fuller Presentation, go to video, and you have it in your vid grid. Okay, so what we'll end up doing is embedding this in the discussion board. So you've got share and down here, and you'll just copy and paste this embed into your discussion board. And you can also um, use this link if you prefer. You don't have to embed it. You can just copy and paste. And this is what you'll use to submit into Canvas as well. Okay. All right. Let's look at what happens if you click on VidGrid portal and you haven't done it before. Again, an older video, but it works well. Brings up this new window and you'll hit record video. Now, I've never done this before, so to record a video, you need to install the software. Download. You can do save file. Then it tells you, open the application, record a video, continue to VidGrid. So I'm going to go to my downloads, double click on the screen recorder to make sure that it is actually downloading, double click to install. You're just going to say open. It's saying it's downloaded from the internet, but we know it's a secure site. And then we have this recorder set up. And that's how we use uh, VidGrid. Uh, let me know if you have any questions along the way. I'm here to help, and I look forward to seeing your presentations and seeing you guys all participating in the discussion board. Have a great week.